Have you ever wondered how to build a million dollar investment portfolio from scratch? Now that's the million dollar question, isn't it? It's not an easy feat, but it's certainly not impossible. And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. Imagine, if you will, a world where you're not just surviving, but thriving. A world where you're not just working for your money, but your money is working for you. Sounds like a dream, right? But it's a dream that can become your reality. This is not just another video with empty promises. We're here to provide you with a step-by-step -step guide, a roadmap, if you will, to building your very own million-dollar investment portfolio. We'll break down the complex world of investing into simple, understandable, and actionable steps. So, are you ready to take control of your financial future? Then buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey. Stick around if you're ready to take the first step towards your million dollar dream. So, where do we start? With the foundation, of course. And in the world of finance, the foundation of wealth comes down to two key components, saving and budgeting. Picture yourself as an architect. You wouldn't start building a skyscraper without first laying a solid foundation, would you? The same principle applies to building wealth. Saving and budgeting are the bedrock upon which your million dollar investment portfolio will stand. Let's talk about saving first. It's a simple concept, yet it's often overlooked. Setting aside a portion of your income, no matter how small, is the first step towards financial freedom. This isn't about depriving yourself of the things you enjoy, but rather about making conscious decisions on where your money goes. Now on to budgeting. This is your financial blueprint. It's about knowing where every dollar is going and ensuring it's being put to work in the most effective way possible. It's about differentiating between needs and wants and making sure you're not spending more than you're bringing in. But how do you know if you're on the right track? This is where calculating your net worth comes in. Your net worth is the total of your assets minus your liabilities. In simpler terms, it's what you own minus what you owe. This figure is a clear indicator of your financial health and serves as a benchmark for your investment journey. The beauty of net worth is that it's not static. It grows and evolves with you. As you save more, spend less, and invest wisely, your net worth will increase. This increase is a testament to your financial prowess and a stepping stone towards your million-dollar portfolio. So, take a moment to review your savings habits. Draft a budget if you haven't yet, calculate your net worth to know where you stand, and remember, these aren't one-time tasks. They require consistent effort and regular reviews. Remember, every journey to a million dollars starts with a single dollar saved. Now that we have a foundation, let's talk about diversification. It's a term you've probably heard before, but what does it really mean? Well, think of it this way. Imagine you're at a buffet and you only load your plate with spaghetti. Sure, you love spaghetti, but what if it's undercooked? Your entire meal is ruined. This is where diversification comes in. Instead of investing all your money in one type of asset, like our friend did with the spaghetti, you spread it across different types of investments. This could be stocks, bonds, real estate, or even private businesses. The idea is to protect yourself from any major losses if one investment doesn't perform well. Let's dive deeper. Stocks can offer high returns, but they also carry a higher risk. They are a great option if you're looking for growth and don't mind a bit of a roller coaster ride. Bonds, on the other hand, are more stable and reliable. They won't give you the high returns of stocks, but they are less likely to lose value. They're the mashed potatoes of your investment buffet, comforting and steady. Now, real estate is a different beast altogether. It can provide you with a steady income through rent and potential appreciation in property value over time. But keep in mind, it also requires more hands-on management compared to stocks and bonds. So you see, each type of investment has its pros and cons. By diversifying, you're not just protecting yourself from potential losses, but also creating multiple streams of income and growth. It's like having your spaghetti, mashed potatoes, and a slice of prime rib all on one plate. But remember, diversification isn't a one-size-fits-all strategy. Your personal financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon will dictate how you spread your investments. And while diversification can help reduce risk, it doesn't eliminate it. Always do your own research or consult with a financial advisor before making investment decisions. Diversification is not just about spreading your investments, 
It's about maximizing your potential returns. Having diversified your investments, you're ready to take on the next crucial step in your wealth building journey, managing risk. Risk management in the realm of investing is all about balancing potential reward with possible risk. It's like walking on a tightrope and your survival on this financial high wire depends on smart balancing. Now you may wonder, why do I need to manage risk if I've already diversified my portfolio? Well, the truth is, while diversification helps spread the risk, it doesn't eliminate it. Every investment carries some degree of risk and some may carry more than others. So how can you manage these risks? First, it's important to understand your risk tolerance. This is the amount of risk you're comfortable taking on. If the thought of your investments fluctuating makes you lose sleep at night, you probably have a low risk tolerance. On the other hand, if you're comfortable with ups and downs in the pursuit of higher returns, you may have a higher risk tolerance. But remember, risk tolerance isn't static. It can change with your life circumstances, financial goals, and as you grow older. So it's essential to reassess your risk tolerance periodically. Secondly, consider asset allocation. This involves deciding how much of your portfolio to dedicate to different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate. The right mix can help you achieve your financial goals while staying within your risk tolerance. Lastly, don't forget to monitor and adjust your portfolio regularly. The market is ever-changing and so should your investment strategy. Regularly reviewing your portfolio allows you to make necessary adjustments and keep your investments aligned with your goals. Remember, managing risk is not about avoiding it, but about understanding and controlling it. By mastering this balancing act, you're not just protecting your investments, but also setting yourself up for financial success. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more investment tips and tricks. Ever heard of the eighth wonder of the world? It's compound interest. Now that might sound like a joke, but the truth is compound interest can work wonders on your investments. It's the secret ingredient that can turn a modest sum into a mountain of money over time. But what exactly is it? In simple terms, compound interest is the interest you earn on your initial investment or principal plus the interest that has already been added to it. So you're essentially earning interest on interest and that's where the magic happens. Imagine you invest $1,000 at an annual interest rate of 5%. After the first year, you'll have earned $50 in interest, bringing your total to $1,050. Now, here's where it gets interesting. In the second year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $1,000, but on the full $1,050. That means you'll earn $52.50 in interest in year two. Now, these numbers might not seem like much, but over time, they begin to add up significantly. Let's say you leave your money invested for 20 years. At the end of that period, your $1,000 would have grown to approximately $2,650. And all you did was sit back and let compound interest do its work. But if you want to supercharge your investments, try combining compound interest with regular contributions. Say you start with $1,000 and add another thousand every year. After 20 years with compounding, you'd have accumulated over $48,000. That's the power of compounding. Remember, the key to making compound interest work for you is time. The longer you leave your money invested, the more time compound interest has to work its magic. And the great thing is, anyone can harness this power. You don't need to be a Wall Street whiz or have a ton of cash to start with. Harness the power of compounding and you'll be surprised how quickly your portfolio can grow. Building wealth is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You see, in the world of investing, consistency is key. It's not about making a quick buck overnight, it's about steadily growing your wealth over time. Imagine you're planting a tree. You don't just water it once and expect it to grow tall and strong, do you? No, you water it regularly, provide it with sunlight, and nurture it consistently. The same principle applies to your investment portfolio. It's not about the one-off large investments. It's about the regular, consistent contributions that you make. Now let's talk numbers. Let's say you start investing $200 every month, assuming an average annual return of 8%. 
in 20 years, you'd have accumulated over $120,000. And that's just from contributions of $200 a month. Imagine if you were to increase that amount. The growth potential is truly astounding. But why does this work? It's all down to the magic of compounding. Each dollar you invest earns a return. That return then gets reinvested and earns its own return. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and bigger with each roll. Consistency in investing also helps you to ride out the ups and downs of the market. By investing regularly, you're not trying to time the market. Instead, you're taking advantage of what's known as dollar cost averaging. This means you're buying more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high. Over time, this can lead to significant gains. So remember, when it comes to building your investment portfolio, don't be discouraged by slow progress. Just like training for a marathon, it's about building stamina, staying the course, and maintaining a steady pace. And if you're enjoying this content and want to keep learning, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more wealth building tips and strategies to share with you. Consistency can make a difference between an average portfolio and a million dollar portfolio. So keep investing, keep growing, and watch your wealth blossom. So, ready to build your million dollar investment portfolio? Let's recap our journey so far. We started by setting the foundation of wealth, which is all about saving and budgeting. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar that can be invested. Next, we delved into the importance of diversification. Spreading your investments across different assets mitigates risk and increases the potential for returns. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. Then we explored the magic of compound interest. This is where your money works for you, growing exponentially over time. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow and getting bigger as it goes. Lastly, we emphasize the importance of consistency. Regular, disciplined investing is the key to building a substantial portfolio. It's not about timing the market, but time in the market. Remember, the path to a million dollars is not a secret, it's a process. Start today and enjoy the journey.